Okay, so we've shown how to create PDFs using Google Docs. Uh, now there's another app that I really like, and it's called Adobe Scan. So it is, you know, it's an Adobe product. Um, so what we're going to do is going to show how to create uh, a PDF using this. All right, so if you look down here at the bottom, you can either use photos or use the camera. So I'm going to use the camera, okay? And so this is going to be like a weird kind of work in progress here. So here is my image, okay? It's just a page, page from the notes you've already seen. And I'm going to use my phone and take it, we'll try to take a picture of it, okay? And the orientation doesn't really matter so much. Okay, um, because it takes the image and it tries to figure out where are the where's the outline for the page. So it's especially good when you've got like a dark background like this this table that I have, and you've got the white pages. This blue outline says, okay, that's what we're going to use. And if you don't like it, you can of course click retake. Um, I'm going to click continue. And so now it says, okay, you've got one page in this document. All right, let's find another document. So I'm going to go to page two. Here it is, right? So I'm going to take a picture of it. Actually, I don't even have to take a picture. I can, but if I just hold it still, as I thought I would. Okay, so I'm taking a picture. And again, it's going to take that image. It's kind of crooked, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to click continue. And let's do this again with one more image. Okay, now this is weird because sometimes it's going to try to find the corners as you are hovering this above your page. Other times you just have to take a picture and it's going to work its magic. So I just took another picture, or actually it took a picture, and it was able to identify the image. Now, if you see this just a little bit off, you can always drag these and make it just a little bit better. Okay. And when I click continue, click continue. Now it's still looking for another image, but if we are comfortable with what we have and you see down here, we've got three pages. I'm going to click the three pages. And now I'm going to turn this into my PDF. This is where the magic happens. So I can scroll through here. And uh, gee, let's see. Now that's not right. So let's click on this guy and let's rotate until it is oriented. Well, that's upside down. A couple more times. There we go. That guy's oriented correctly. That guy's good. So page one, page two, page three has got to rotate. And there we go. And you know, it picks up all the color too. Uh, you can change the color on that. Uh, you know, if you want to, if you want to make it just black and white, or you want to you know, just the, like the different filters you would have, um, like on your camera. Um, and up here where you've got the little pencil, let's click on this and let's save this as another one of my exams because I cannot have enough of these. Test, whoops. So test one, and I can rename this. And I can click save as PDF. And it kicks me back to the home screen here and it says, okay, there's Ryan Craig test number one. Uh, what do you want to do with this? Well, let me, if I click on more, I can copy to my Google drive, copy it to my device. I can, um, export it, move it. I do whatever. So I'm going to copy to the device and Somewhere on here, it's going to have it. Oh, that's downloads. Oh, sorry, I'm not even paying attention. It says save. So I click save. And so now it's on my device. So now I can access it. I can email it. I can do whatever I need to do with that. Um, and so, yeah, that's the, the neat thing with the with the Adobe Scan. It will find that picture. You either take the picture or it's going to automatically do that. And you click, keep taking more and more pictures until you have all that you need. And then the bottom right, once you have the number of pages, have them all done, you click on that and you make the adjustments. And there you go.